Yo, what's going on everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pipes here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to recover your deleted files. Now, back in 2016, I went to Jamaica and the very last day, my SD card got corrupted. I was completely devastated and I thought I lost everything until when I got home and installed an app called Disk Drill on the App Store and I was able to recover all of my photos from Jamaica. Now, I recommend Disk Drill Pro, which is the non-App Store version of Disk Drill because Apple's limitation of um, the app, so you can't even do iOS and Android data recovery, and you have far more better detection of uh, recovering your files, and you have better stability of damaged drives. But without further ado, I'm gonna just show you guys how this process works. All right guys, so now I'm on my MacBook Pro. This is running Mac OS Mojave, but it is compatible with Mac OS Catalina, Windows 10, so without further ado, let's just open up this drill. This is it right here. And it's gonna load up all the drives that's connected onto your computer. And as you guys can see, I have an SD card connected. My SSD is connected. Now I'm gonna plug in my thumb drive. This is back in uh, college days. And I'm gonna plug it in. And it's automatically gonna come up right there. So let's just wait for it. Okay, and there we go. So there it is, 16 gigabytes. I actually used this software just to test it out and I was able to test it out, delete it, and as you guys can see, I deleted all my school files. I have it backed up somewhere else, but just to show you guys an example, it does work. So I'm actually gonna delete this again. I'm gonna delete it again. Oops, I deleted, oh no. All right, finally, I can open up my trash bin and it's just not here, it's gone. But what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna put in some files in here too. By the way, this software supports all file types, all 200 plus files, PDF, JPEG, PMG, you name it, it pretty much supports it. So I'm gonna delete these files. So I have a PDF here, I have a uh, JPEG here, and I have another JPEG, and I have a video. And it's gonna delete immediately. So it's no trash bin. This is like permanently deleting everything. And we're gonna recover all the files that we just deleted. So the video, the two pictures, and the PDF. So we're gonna click on recover. It's literally one click of a button and everything is gonna start recovering. And I gotta tell you guys, this drill is gonna definitely save some people's lives, man, because there's some really important files that you might have probably delete by accident and this is gonna help you easily recover it with one click of a button. The recovery time, as you guys can see, is 25 minutes remaining, but it depends on how big your hard drive is or how long you had your hard drive for, so the more data you had, the longer it's gonna take. All right guys, so it's all done. As you guys can see, we have the quick scan, deleted, deep scan. It was able to recover not only the MOV file, the JPEG, the PDF. It was able to recover some of my, you know, Photoshop files, my Illustrator files from, you know, in school. You can recover those files either on your hard drive or back on the thumb drive. Um, but it's recommended to save it somewhere else because there might be something wrong with that thumb drive. Before I even recover the files, you can select where you want to recover those files to. So you can just choose your folder. In this case, I'm going to save it onto the desktop. Check the files that you want to recover. We're going to recover those files. It successfully recovered all four files. All right, guys. So everything successfully recovered. But the only thing is I cannot play this video right now. All right. So here's my desktop. I'm going to click on this. Yeah. So everything is here. So... I got my JPEG there, got my second JPEG, and I got the PDF here, and I can read some of the content. It's nice and clear, but the video, the 60 frames per second video, so I don't think that's the case for all videos, so I put in a video here. It's a 19 second video, 14.1 megabytes, and I'm actually going to delete it off of my flash drive, and it's going to delete immediately. We're going to do a deep scan. Currently, it is still scanning. But I actually found the video right here, so I'm gonna pause the scan and I'm gonna show you guys that it does work. So this video was able to recover. This is just a, another larger YouTuber shouting me out, so I just screen recorded it real quick. Um, I should've showed you guys the video first and then delete it and then show you guys the recover process. But I'm gonna click on recover and then that's it. Success, you can click the little magnifying glass and there goes the video and there goes the audio. So the audio works, everything works just fine. We have a lot of videos, it's a 50-50 chance that video might come back or it might not be able to play. I got it right here. It's the same video. You can now recover some files on your iOS device, iPhone, Android, tablet, whatever the case may be, and you're gonna get better success rate. This drill is something that I definitely recommend. I'm gonna give this a stamp of a Pop 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 Pop's approval. 
definitely something that you're going to need. And whether you're on Mac or Windows, it's just something that you're just going to need.